What's up people, Manwit here, coming to you with a video. This time we are going to be making one of the best dishes one can ever get when you are in college or in school in India or a really nice warm snack. It's called bread pakoda. Uh, what it means is a bread that is covered with a batter with spices and it's deep fried and it's super delicious. For that we have taken about one cup of basin uh, we have taken about four or five Thai green chilies and uh, uh, diced them up. We have also taken onions. We have uh, diced them or sliced them coarsely. We have not uh, diced them finely. We have done it like this. And to the dry flour, we are also going to be adding from our spice rack salt to taste, red chili powder to taste, red chili flakes again to taste. It's a very savory dish. Carom seeds or uh, ajwain seeds. Once that's in, using a fork, just mix it up. The main intention is initially to have all the dry ingredients mixed up together. Break up the basin flour or it's chickpea flour basically. You can get them at an Indian store. You can buy it at Amazon. Just break it up. Once that's done, just add water slowly. Because we want the batter to be thick. We don't want it to be too thin. If it does become too thin, uh, you can always add more dry flour once that's happened toss in your green chilies and again this is to taste if you can't handle your heat well don't put less put the onions in looks like it's a lot of onion but it's not add some more water while this is going on i will also recommend to put your wok on gas at or your cooking range at medium high heat if needed add more flour if needed Experiment with your food. Don't be scared. It's only cooking. Worst case scenario, you'll make enough for the whole uh, neighborhood. Best case scenario, you'll make just the right amount. This will also be a perfect time to taste test and see if you need any salt. It's going to have a little raw flavor of uh, the flour in it, but you can taste test it. Let the mixture sit uh, so the flour that is there or if there are any undissolved uh, nodules of the flour, they do get a chance to get moist and they break down. We are not adding any baking soda or any uh, baking powder in it or any yeast. While this is sitting and resting, we need to prep up the bread. And yes, it looks like it's too watery, but don't worry. The bread is going to soak up all the delicious spices and everything else that we have in it. Now we put this to the side, we get the bread in, we take the bread and some people leave the crust on. I prefer to have the crust out. Uh, don't discard the crust because you can use them also. Just take the crust out. What we're looking for is a rectangle shape kind of a thing like this. Now there are two thoughts. One is you can either make it into a triangle, which is like this, or sometimes you can just cut it in the middle. Uh, doesn't taste any different, it just looks different. So we're going to put this on the side. We got the triangle bread. Butter comes back in the action. Mix it up. And what you want to do is, either you can dip them single and then fry them, uh, but preferably stack them up. Now this is <laughs> this is going to get messy, so use only one hand. Just dip them in, dip them in. Let all the onions and the green chilies stick to the top. Go to your wok. Just drop one, and yeah, the oil seems to be ready. Now very carefully, cannot emphasize this enough. Take your bread pakoda and just dump it in, away from yourself. Always remember, away from yourself. While that is going, dip the other one in, same exact thing, triangular, one on top of the other and just wash the oil and if there are any small bits that do come out, don't worry about them, dip them in and drop them out. You can take these extra bits and just drop them on top and what you can do is the half that were left or the sides that were left, just cut them in and drop them in because these can also be used. Again, one hand is clean, the other hand is well, you know, you're cooking. Take the other side, rotate. The color that you're looking for is golden brown and delicious, like that. And cook them on low heat, that way the batter doesn't uh, stay around the inside. And any bits that come out, you can just take them off and put it back in the batter. It's a trick that I learned from most of the chefs, that way the oil stays uh, clean and they can be reused. While this is going, get the other bread prepped up too. And this time I'm making two triangles and I'm going to leave the crust on. And just when they're golden brown, that's when you take them out. 
All right. Once you have made the bread pakoda, whatever the mixture is left with the sides of the bread, just mush them up. Once that's done, we're going to be dropping them. The oil is going to be hot. Please be extremely careful. If you're not comfortable using your hand, use a spoon. Like use a tablespoon. I'm using this tablespoon. I'm going to dip it in the oil that way it's lubricated. Take a dollop and just drop it in. Take a dollop. And drop it in. Take a dollop. And drop it in. Take a dollop of it. Drop it in. And this is the whole reason why when you go to colleges or when you go to a restaurant, why they always serve pakoras right next to the bread pakora. As soon as you see them turning golden brown, just rotate them so they can start cooking on both sides. The gas should be as low as uh, it can go because we want to slow cook them. The initial heat that was there in the oil will form a nice warm crust. And this is basically going to be onion and green chili pakoras with your bread pakora. The two that actually I put initially, they are getting ready to get taken out. So I'm going to move them on the one side. I don't want them to burn. And the color we are looking at is like this. Uh, it should be thoroughly cooked because there are areas where the oil can go in. So you strain the oil, put it on the side. And because they are not going to be uniformly made, some might get cooked sooner. The way you can tell is by color only. Like this one is ready to go also. That one is coming up pretty quick. These two are getting done. This one is ready. This one is still undone because you can see it's still white in color. This one is ready. It's uniformly done on both sides. And that's how you make bread pakoda along with onion and green chili pakoda. Traditionally, this is served with tea and coffee along with a little bit of ketchup or hot sauce. Uh, I'm using uh, the sriracha chili sauce, really delicious. And uh, please do let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or concerns about this recipe. And I will see you guys and girls on the next one. And don't forget to thumbs up. Later people. Bye.